if only I could talk to the bees. Shakespeare assumed that the biggest bee in the hive, the one everyone fussed about, was the king. Shakespeare missed an important detail. I lay eggs. Up to 1,600 a day. I am the queen. 1,600 babies per day? How do you do it? Mating, of course. <laughs> of course. You have a husband. Not just one, many. In the spring, I fly about. My perfume attracts the males. They all want to mate with me. We mate in our nuptial flight. For a few days only. But what days? How many males do you mate with in one day? 16, 17. <gasps> we bees don't waste sperm like you humans do. I mate with a lot of males, but I save all the sperm in my spermateca and use it throughout my life to give birth to my daughters. And your sons? My sons don't need sperm to be born. They are born from my unfertilized eggs. Your sons don't have a father? No, they don't have a father. They have a grandfather. What can we do to help bees with the colony collapse disorder that is killing so many of you? She can't answer because there are no answers yet. What happened to you? <laughs> I'm a male bee. I'm a drone. We're rare. We make up 1% of the hive. I don't have a father. I mean, what happened to you? You are severely wounded. But I had sex. What kind of sex? Regular bee sex. Regular bee sex? Yeah. Once we're done, I lose it. <laughs> Having sex is the only thing I know how to do. Oh, no, you certainly know other things than just having sex. No, I don't. I don't even know how to feed myself. In the darkness of the hive, my sister have to feed me. Why, well, your sisters are so nice. Not so nice. In the winter, when we bees find shelter in the hive, the sister push us to drone out. They kill us. They kill their brothers? Yes, they do. Why? <laughs> Too many mouths to feed, they say. They are afraid we would deplete the winter honey reserve. Mama, the queen, can make new drones in the spring when we're needed. The spring is a much better time for the drones. Oh, yes. We fly after virgin queens. We mate in our nuptial flights. But once we're done... What can I do to help you? <sighs> Stop planting green lawns, which are useless. Plant instead wildflowers, which is the source of our food. No, I meant, what can I do for you now? Help my sisters instead. Forge. Honey. Mama. What are you saying? Honey. I... Uh... He died. A dead bee. Let's get rid of it. Who are you? Are you the police? Are you the undertakers? We are the worker bees. We are in charge of everything, including cleaning the hive from dead bees. We also defend our hive. We use our stinger. 
Venomous. Well, Aristotle believes that uh, bees defending the hives were males. <laughs> <laughs> Aristotle is so wrong. So wrong. We are an army made up of all females. Sterile females. We are in charge of everything. We are busy all season. Even in the winter, when the bees stay in the hive? We have to keep the hive warm. To generate heat, we form a ball. Each bee works away toward the center, where it's warm and cozy, and then back again in the periphery of the ball, where it's colder. We keep turning to keep warm. We can beat our wings 200 times per second. Or we can fan the hive to cool it in the summer. How do you make honey? We mix our saliva with nectar and store the mixture in our wax cells. Honey never spoils. Plants produce nectar to attract us. Nectar is basically sugar water. Why would plants want to attract bees? They cannot mate by themselves. They're stuck. They cannot move. Plants need us to mate with other plants. While we suck up the sugary nectar, we get the pollen all over ourselves. Pollen is plant's gamut, just like our sperm and eggs. We collect pollen and stock it in the pocket in the back of our legs. We bring it to the hive where we eat it. Pollen is rich in protein. We fly from flower to flower. When we land on a new flower, more pollen falls on us, mixing the genes. This is pollination. Mixing up the genes is what we bees or you human do by mating. How do you know where the flowers are? We communicate by dancing. A basic figure eight is the round dance. We use it to locate the flowers near the hive. The waggle dance is used to indicate flowers that are far from the hive. Different waggles means different directions. We wag our ass, and we talk to one another. Before we swarm, leaving the old nest to build the new one, in the darkness of the hive, we share our different opinions about where to go with different dances. We know we reach consensus when we all start dancing the same. We swarm out to found new colonies. We can help bees found new colonies and propagate by supporting organic farms that don't use heavy pesticides, by planting wildflowers, which is the source of their food, and by helping beekeepers by buying local honey. <laughs>